Hey guys, um, Davies here, back with another bark for you guys. Well, not a bark, this is going to be a bonus puppy. I'm not going to make it a bark, it's just because this is just something random I want to kind of talk about after reading an article a few weeks ago. So yeah, bonus puppy for you guys, hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm super excited the way the um, Cyber Team Akihabara reveal has been doing, it's doing well. Um, um, so that really pumped me up, um, but yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's been going to any cons or anything and been having a blast doing that. But yeah, so um, this is what I want to talk about today. Um, last season, last anime season, which I think was was it winter? I think it was. Um, we got the anime Love Rice. Love Rice, for those of you who didn't watch it, was about a group of boys who go to this high school and. Their object was to put on this harvest festival. Um, I didn't realize this watching the show, but the boys are actually rice themselves. Like, yeah. And I, I, I don't think I realized that going into the show, but the show was one of those shows that runs for two to maybe five minutes long, and it was the weirdest thing ever. They never quite explained to you what a harvest festival is. It's somewhere in between, like, a idol performance and like a cut scene from a video game. Like you're like you're you're never quite totally sure what it is. Because they'll just be like walking and then just go into harvest show mode and it'll just show them like flying around and the girls will be swooning over them and then like they'll make wheat come out the ground, they'll grow. And it's just the weirdest thing ever. And so the the school they were going to was going to close down. So they were trying to do a harvest show to kind of build the reputation back up and kind of make the school popular again. That's the main premise of the show. But, I mean, it was it was 12 episodes of, of a lot of nothing, pretty much. And so, I watched it. It was funny, I guess. And I didn't think anything else about it anymore. A couple of weeks later, I read an article. We're getting a season 2 of Love Rice. And I'm thinking, why? Who who asked for a season two of Love Rice? I didn't. I watched the show, and I have no desire to see a season two at all. And it got me thinking. Some of these short shows, I've watched a lot of these short shows over, I recently got into them, or maybe last three or four years I got into a short series. Um, and some of them have gotten sequels and season two and three. I just don't understand why. I just don't get get understand why. And there's some who didn't get seasons that maybe should have gotten seasons. Um, the first short show I ever experienced was Italia. Italia was the first short series I ever experienced. And at that time, I had no idea short series existed. I watched Italia because I had just got done watching Host Club. I fell in love with Host Club. Was I was buying, it was Anime USA back in the day, the magazine. Um, and they had an article on, um, Hotelia. And I was like, okay, it's a group of guys. Host Club was also a group of guys. It has to be equally as good. Well, it wasn't. Hotelia was, oof, Hotelia. If you know me, you know I hate Hotelia with a passion. I despise, despise Hotelia access powers with a passion. But that's beside the point. When I first started watching Italia, the first time I ever watched it, it was subbed. And I was watching the show, and they were talking really fast, and it just kept going, kept going in like five minutes, it was over. And I was like, I was on the fan sub site. So I was like, did the stream just die? Or did it like, did the video just end? Or I, I, didn't know, I played it like twice before I realized that they were talking fast on purpose, and that the series was only like five minutes long. And so that was my introduction into short anime series. Um, so I dropped Italia instantly. I just could not stay in the show. But they've had multiple, multiple seasons. Um, but they can do it because their series is just based on being goofy, kind of. And they have a gigantic fan base, so why not? Um, but then some of these short series, like a couple seasons ago, Americoco. If any of you guys watch Mary Coco, you know, Mary Coco was just 
the most boring show ever. They did nothing at all ever, and it would just cut off at the most random points in the show. Like he would be pouring coffee, and it would just stop. Like what is that? But they got a season two. It was just as bad. Then they got a season three. Season three, I started to watch also because I hate my brain cells. So I watched the first two episodes of season three. And I don't know if it's just me or, but season three never finished as far as I know. I've never seen any more episodes of it. But again, it was a short series that had a season two and three that didn't need one. Then there were shows like I watched um, Sinew back in, oh, that's been a few years ago now. And Sinew, Sinew was amazing. A amazing, amazing short series. Um, the first season was great. Second season, and eh, not so much, but it wasn't terrible. But it was, it was a show, it was like a short series version of like, sort of, oh no, not sort of online. Like a short series version of like a One Piece or like a fairy tale. Something similar to that. Um, like a short <laughs> version of a shonen series with like multiple, multiple, multiple jokes. A lot of them. And it was, it was great. But they got multiple seasons and maybe could have done season three, but they didn't. Then there was ones like, um, Mon Girl I watched. But we could have definitely gotten more seasons of Mon Girl. We could have kept following their process of creating more manga and getting a bigger fan base and all that good stuff. But they never got a season two. That's been probably five or six years, five or six years ago now. And they never got a season, another season. But then we have shows like Love Rice out here getting season twos. Then there was Diabolic Lovers, which came out just a few years ago. And it was a, long, a little longer than most of it. it. was I think it was around 9 to 12 minutes long. But if you watch Diabolic Lovers, you know it was, it was vampire rape. That's exactly what it was. And it was, it was disturbing most of the time. Like, it was, it was disturbing. I, I enjoyed it. I will not lie, but it was definitely disturbing. It was disturbing to watch sometimes. But they got a season two. Um, but it's just like so many short series, I just don't, I don't see them having a big enough fan base that earns them a season two. Like, when you look at people who talk about Love Rice, the comments aren't good because the show isn't good. It was it was a good way to waste five minutes. You, you had, if you had five minutes to waste, you watch Love Rice, you get a few good laughs, and that was it. That was all you needed. Nobody wants to see a season two of these guys doing these quote-unquote Harvest shows, and you still don't know exactly what a Harvest show is. It was just, I just didn't, I just did I don't get it. But season two is coming. Um, will I watch it? Sure. I, I'm sure I will. Um, oh, and speaking of another show is too. That also got a season two. It was a show about um, the student president. Um, the student president who was quote unquote married to the like student council guy. And they were extremely perfect. Like there was that show. Um, and it was also, the first season was pervy enough. It was borderline hentai most of the time. And the second season, the second season was even worse. And it was, it was, I mean, it was funny, don't get me wrong, because I, I love pervy stuff. So, so it was funny, but, I mean, it, one season was enough. You can only see so many boobs. It was, it was fine. Um, then there's a show about the guy who, about the married couple. The guy who's an otaku, and his wife, she isn't, and they're married. And of that one, it got, it got two seasons also, but it was funny. It was funny because you could see the interaction between them two, and how they got along. So it, it was fine for two seasons. So some shows got multiple seasons and it was fine. Some should have gotten seasons and they didn't. But some have seasons and they don't need those seasons. And I just don't... I get it, you're trying to sell figures. You're trying to sell um, visual novels. You're trying to sell these... I get that aspect of it. You're trying to sell these items and things of that nature. But it's just like at the same time... I mean, enough is enough at some point. Give me an OVA or something. Give me a short extra on a DVD or something to that effect. Don't give me another season of this. And so, for anybody out there who hasn't seen Love Rice, I recommend you watch it just because 
the guys are actually rice, from what I've understood, which means the team that was from the wheat school were actually grains of wheat. Um, yeah, they were like the pretty boy group, and then they got the realization that their manager was a creep, and all kinds of things. It it's it's like B Project or any it's like an idol show mixed in with like farming, and I don't know the combination is weird, but I guess people like it. I don't know. We're getting a season two, so I guess people did enjoy it. Um, I just wanted to rant on that for a moment. Um, like I said, I've watched a lot of short shows lately. I'll probably watch more. Um, for me, personally, they've just become either a good way to get through the season without having too many shows on the list. It's something I can watch. I can throw on, the li- throw on, my, on my list for the, for the season, watch it, and just have a break in between every other show that's 30 minutes long. And like I'm also watching now, watching, um, name probably wrong what I'm saying, but it's Nazumi Tra- Trap, the, the show about the two girls who both had boyfriends, but they're also sort of lesbians, that show, and I must say, that show has definitely taken me by surprise, like, I, I was watching it just for the fact that it was like, oh, these two girls are like in love with each other when they have boyfriends, and one girl's super pervy, and one's not, so they're all watching just for that, but then, the story gets a little darker and gets a little eerie in there at times. There's, I mean, there's some physical abuse, there's some sexual abuse, there's mental abuse, and there's, it, it's, it's, it's a little, it's getting to the point now, I think we're, we're at episode, I want to say maybe six or seven, maybe even eight. And it's getting to the point now to where it's a little hard to watch and kind of digest because you didn't expect it from this series. And so, yeah, it's it may be a hidden gem because of the way the show, show is, I'm trying to say, the way the show is advertised. It's just this comedy show about these two friends who happen to have boyfriends but also are sort of in love with each other. But underneath that layer of comedy is a very, very hard-hitting story. And it, and they're pulling it out more and more as you go along. And it's really, like in the last episode where she thought her friend was getting um, physically abused. And which she was. Um, and she kind of stepped up and told her boyfriend, like, you know, this isn't acceptable and this isn't going to happen. And so it's, it, it's good. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, yeah, so, I guess the rant is over. Um, thank you guys for listening for all 13 minutes. If you make it to the end, you're awesome. Um, yeah. So, um, try to be back soon with another bark for you guys. I maybe hang out with Robert soon, so maybe you'll get both of us on a bark finally. Um, but if not, it'll just be me. And, um, until next time, I'm going to try to watch the fairy tale movie soon. Um, and just see what it's about. I heard it's really good. I'm going to try to watch it soon also. But yeah, until next time, um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you watch any short animes or any of the ones I talked about and you got anything to say about them, comment below. All comments are welcome. Um, yeah, so like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And, um, thank you for listening. Maho out.